Secretary of Health and Human Services Tom Price resigned Friday, the White House announced, becoming the latest to leave in an administration that has been full of turnover in its first months. Secretary of Health and Human Services Thomas Price offered his resignation earlier today, and the president accepted, the White House press secretary, Sarah Huckabee Sanders said in a statement that the administration has been rocked by a series of high-profile exits, including Sean Spicer as press secretary and James Comey as FBI director, since President Donald Trump took office in January. Here are the top-level people who've either been fired or have resigned from the administration Tom Price The Secretary of Health and Human Services had elicited bipartisan condemnation over the cost of his air travel. He had cost taxpayers more than $1 million between his use of private planes for domestic travel and military jets for recent trips to Africa, Europe, and Asia, Politico reported. Sebastian Gorka White House official confirmed Gorka's departure from the Trump administration on August 25. The former Breitbart News staffer and ally of Chief Strategist Steve Bannon served as a deputy assistant to President Donald Trump. In his departing letter, First published on a pro-Trump website, Gorka told Trump he could better serve the president's America First agenda from the outside. Gorka was aligned with a once prominent nationalist arm of the Trump administration, occupied most prominently by Bannon and Stephen Miller, a senior policy advisor. Bannon's departure a week earlier was seen as a significant blow to other nationalist, far-right figures in the White House, and Gorka implied as much in his letter saying it was clear to him that forces that do not support the MAGA promise are, for now, ascendant within the White House. Steve Bannon White House officials confirmed that Trump had dismissed Bannon, his chief strategist, on August 18 after reports of clashes between Bannon and other members of the White House reached a fever pitch in recent days. Bannon, who was instrumental in focusing the message of Trump's 2016 campaign, was considered the main conduit between Trump and his base of far-right voters. Bannon submitted his resignation to Trump earlier in August, the New York Times reports. Matt Drudge, the conservative blogger, said Bannon might return to his former job as executive chairman of Breitbart News. Anthony Scaramucci Scaramucci was hired as the White House communications director and then dismissed in less than two weeks. The decision came at the urging of John Kelly the new White House chief of staff, according to a Times report. Scaramucci most notably made headlines for his interview with The New Yorker in which he unleashed an expletive-filled tirade against members of the Trump administration. Ryan Priebus Priebus resigned as White House chief of staff six months into his tenure after a public feud with Scaramucci. Trump announced in a tweet on June 28 that Kelly, the Secretary of Homeland Security at the time, would take over for Priebus. Priebus resigned less than a week after Sean Spicer, the former press secretary, who was considered a Priebus ally in the White House. Sean Spicer Spicer, the embattled White House press secretary, resigned on July 21 after telling Trump he vehemently disagreed with the selection of Scaramucci as White House communications director. Spicer's tenure was marred by controversy and a sometimes awkward relationship with the president. Spicer said at the time that he would stay in his role until August. Michael Duck Duck resigned as the White House communications director in May. Duck was replaced by Scaramucci, the founder of a hedge fund and a top Trump donor. Walter Schaub Schaub resigned as the director of the Office of Government Ethics in July after clashing with the White House over Trump's complicated financial holdings. Schaub called the Trump administration a laughingstock after his resignation and he advocated strengthening the U.S.'s ethical and financial disclosure rules, according to the Times. James Comey Reuters slash Aaron P. Bernstein Trump fired Comey as FBI director in May. At the time of his firing, Comey was handling the Bureau's investigation into whether the Trump campaign colluded with Russia to meddle in the 2016 election creating a firestorm of controversy for the Trump administration. Comey was the second FBI director to be fired by a president, 
Bill Clinton fired William Sessions in 1993. Michael Flynn Flynn resigned in February after serving as national security adviser for less than a month. Flynn had misled Vice President Mike Pence and other administration officials about what he and Sergei Kislyak, Russia's ambassador to the U.S., talked about in phone conversations during the transition, according to reports. They had discussed the Obama administration's sanctions against Russia. Sally Yates Adyar, 